when it said his name is talking about the authority saying they they have the authority given from Yahweh Shem but they're gonna say Christ or Jesus to teach the Bible which they have no authority because the authority wasn't given to them the scriptures told you the Lord gave his authority to his servants and the servants are the prophets and the prophets are the 144,000 12,000 from each tribe of the tribes of Israel they tell you that in Revelations okay and the Israelites are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent on your father's side. So anybody outside of that talking about they have the authority to break down the Bible, they false prophets. How the verse 11 in that chapter? Matthew chapter 24, verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And you see that. You got many false prophets arising and deceiving many. And they're set up to deceive and take the many, which is of, of the... Uh, I mean, out of the two thirds, because they're gonna take heed to false prophets, not the men of the Lord. Okay. All right. Read verse twelve. And because and because iniquity shall abound. That's right. The word iniquity, I right, which means sin upon sin, shall abound, meaning be in abundance. All right. Sin or iniquity, contempt or disregard for the Bible should be in abundance i.e. America and around the world alright keep reading and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold yeah the love of many alright and love according to the Bible is keeping the law statutes and commandments doing that which the Lord commanded that's love it ain't no gushy feeling okay some emotional uh, effeminate vibration that's not love all right? When you tell somebody to do something and they do it, that means they respect you, they love you. All right? Hey, oh, oh, I love you, and then they do the opposite. Okay? That's what America teach you. So it said, love of many shall wax cold. And that's talking about these two-thirds. Oh, I love, they talk about, oh, I love you. They be in the church every Sunday or, or, or Saturday or whenever they go to church, if they go to church, or if they on some other shit talking about they, they believe in God, but they on some like smoking weed or drugs and all this other stuff. Alright? The niggas, or oh, they Masons. Because you know they like to use God. They like to say God. Alright? They love for the Lord is wax cold. So they in the, doing all types of iniquity and sin. And that's the time we in. I.e., uh, uh, the, the month of June is the month for lesbians. Uh, transgenders, gays, and bisexuals being honored and highly esteemed. Get that in the Ecclesiastes 10 and 6 about folly said in great dignity. That's folly, man. If anybody stop and do research on those type of lifestyles, all those lifestyles lead to high levels of depression, disease, death, and destruction. Okay? And those people that practice that lifestyle, they're miserable. And a lot of them commit suicide. And a lot of them are murderers. Alright? But you people, you you just you just love that shit, man. Like Obama, he had a press conference and he was uh talking about how gays is, is breaking all types of barriers in this in this society, even sports. Bigging up Jason Collins, man. Fuck Jason Collins, man. Jason Collins was a C-level. A basketball player, man. You garbage, man. The only reason you probably made it into the league because your ass seven foot and you seem like you got some type of girth. Nigga, you, you couldn't ball. Okay? All them years you played on all them teams, that means you you a journey player. That means you wasn't really a, a star player. Because if you was a star player or a franchise player, they would keep you on the team, right? You'd be having hella bank. But no, you on what, the 11th season? Nobody know who you are. Basically, and now you gotta pray that somebody pick your ass up for next season if we make it to next season. Because, Lord willing, we don't make it to next season. Lord willing. This place will be destroyed by then. But if we do make it to next season, Lord willing, or, or God forbid, okay, you gotta pray somebody pick your ass up. And then now they talking about knowing homosexuals, they, they give you more attention. You're gonna have more niggas uh, surfacing. Uh, coming out of it, the NFL, uh, hockey, 
tennis, golf, and all major sports. And even more of these entertainers gonna come out too. Okay? And these actors be open with it. And you niggas just gonna accept it, man. Like these heathens. But that's for your judgment, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set in great dig dignity in a in the rich city low place. Folly. Folly is lacking understanding and common sense, man. That is highly esteemed. Dignity means something that's highly esteemed and respected and honored and reverenced and worship. So the more asinine, simple, idiotic, dumb shit you do here in America, the more and more people will love you. And it's evident, the brothers from LA, they was out there teaching last week, and a, a whole group, like three groups of people riding butt-ass naked on their bicycles in the middle of broad daylight, down Boulevard, uh, uh, what's it, LA Boulevard, butt-ass naked down Hollywood, riding in their bikes, women with their boobs showing and their they vagina showing, men with their penis and testicles showing on bikes, and people was hooting and hollering and, 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 and cheering that on. Okay? That's an abomination. And that's wickedness. You had children out there, you had people with their babies out there seeing that madness, and nobody didn't, and didn't say this ain't right, except the men of the Lord. And then the people had problems with it, man. That's so how wicked and how perverse you people have gotten here in America. And that's why America is going to be destroyed. And it's going to be rightfully so. Okay? That's why, that's why people are regretting or even uh, striving not to have children in this goddamn wicked, perverse society, man. Because if their children go to school, they got to accept the ways of America. Oh, it's all right for little Susie to have two moms. Or little Timmy to have two dads. Or it's all right that Timmy's dad was a man, now he's a woman. Or Susie's mom is now a man. And that's an abomination. And that's, that's running rampant amongst you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Y'all embrace that wholeheartedly, man. And that's why a whole bunch of y'all gonna die horrible deaths in this society, man. Horrible deaths. When I saw that shit, man, I was, I was heated, man. Nobody, where was the cops? The cops were nowhere to stop these people from riding down the street in three massive groups butt-ass naked. But, 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 but everybody loves America. Everybody loves Obama, all right? And they for whatever Obama say, because they're a bunch of simpletons, okay? It's wickedness, man. Read that again, Folly said in great dignity. Folly is set in great dig dignity and the rich sit in low place. Yeah, the rich talking about the men that have true riches, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible, which is more valuable than going to some darn university or college, which is it's blatantly coming out. The information is coming out so heavily that if you go to college, the only thing you're going to accumulate is, is, is debt. And you're going to pick up bad habits, all right, women being whores, all right, you're going to pick up being an alcoholic and addicted to drugs, all right? And, and, and then, uh, after all that, you probably won't even get a job in the field that you went to school for and crammed and, and basically destroyed your mind, striving for, there's no jobs for that. You got to work an ordinary peon job with everybody else at your local grocery store, at your local restaurant, getting paid minimum wage and not able to pay back that college debt that you accumulated going to school thinking you, you're going to be somebody. That's folly, man. Uh, so, so the men that have the true knowledge, they, they sit in low places in this society, man. And they esteem as low, lowly in this society because if you want to do uh, 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 the right thing, you're, you're, uh, you're considered an enemy of the state. You're gonna be destroyed, man. You're gonna be destroyed. No grown ass man supposed to be wearing no makeup and 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 fucking fucking moving like that, man. <laughs> oh man. Get, get Jeremiah 1660. Okay? They wicked, man. 
My people are wicked. You 